Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to a special episode of Snack Minute from Cisco Live Amsterdam. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bit of learning covering coding, tech, and some cool stuff that we just like to talk about. And the cool person we're going to talk to you about today is my boss, Parmarat. Hi, my name is Parmarat, and I'm the Vice President of Learning and Certifications. And I am thrilled to be here with you snackers on Snack Minute. <laughs> and we're all thrilled to be here in Amsterdam talking about Cisco U. And, you know, you've been part of Learning and Certifications for a while, and we're kind of curious how did Cisco U evolve? Where did it come from? What was the genesis of the idea? Yeah, sure. It, it has been a journey. Um, I came into role probably about two years ago. And the last time I had the opportunity to be on Snack Minute, we talked about launching the DevNet Expert, yep. and we talked about the boot camps, yep. we did. which was a natural evolution in terms of creating what I'm going to refer to as personalized training. In a boot camp situation, what we uh, went out with was a program where people could come in and baseline and get a foundational level and then do a project together as part of that boot camp. And what we really found from that, and which is really now a trend in the industry, is people need that personalized learning. It's one thing to say, here's a digital library, go out and learn. Right. It's a much different experience to get that personalized learning delivered for you, for your needs, based on your level of knowledge. And, and looking at what skills is it that you are trying to improve upon or the skill set that you're trying to obtain. And that's really what Cisco U is. That's really exciting because I think a, a, a lot of the conversations, and Kareem and I have talked about this before when a we lot. mentioned Cisco U, is the, the biggest challenge for people getting started is getting started and um, having that curation of where are my technology strengths, what areas do I want to go into, and then having that curated for the beginning of the journey is fantastic. And I'm sure Cisco U has a plan to bring it beyond that beginning stage and allow you to move into those intermediate and even you know, fingers crossed expert. And not only that too, like we're, we're driving our learners through a journey, not for learning, but ending up with a certification, Yeah. right? And we're bringing in adjacent technologies into Cisco U that's gonna be putting that entire solution together for our learners. But I wanted to ask you, Paul, from a Cisco U perspective as a learner, what are the different types of learning that I could see within Cisco U, different journeys? Sure. So we have journeys associated with technology. We have journeys associated specifically with certifications. And as, as you all, as you both know, and <laughs> snackers know, all of our learning compiles up to the opportunity to do a certification. So one can come in and to your point, take an assessment, figure out where do I need to start? What are the components within a learning path that I need to, to get to and become proficient in? in order to either get a certification or just get these new skills that I need to get to the, either the career outcome or the business outcome that I want. And we are continuing to add additional technology, additional learning paths in Cisco U, right. because we know and the industry knows that one and done does not work in technology. You, you are constantly having to level up. And in that leveling up, you've got to bring in, in different foundational technology to then layer it on with a Cisco solution to then level up to where you can get that certification and work within your partners, work within your customers, and build your career out to get to the level that you want to get to. And it is a never-ending situation, as you both know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Learning never stops, that's for sure. We've been involved in it for 10 years now. Yeah. Yeah, from just, you know, the DevNet Learning Labs all the way to uh, uh, DevNet certification. You were part of DevNet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, um, you know, talk to me a little bit, Par, about uh, how Cisco U is now kind of a differing um, or a differentiated learning experience than what maybe people have gone through before with digital learning experience, maybe even like a complement to DevNet or a, 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 a path beyond what, what people would get in a, in a DevNet experience? Sure. What, what I love about DevNet and learning is it's a continuum. Mm -hmm. So we definitely are going to continue to partner together with DevNet. 
come in, get a get a, um, a bite of what what learning could look like, experience what our offers, what our APIs have to offer, and that's great. But we've also gotten feedback that I need a little bit more. Yeah. I, I need to go further. I want to go Definitely. further. And this is the wonderful continuum. So we'll have that introduction. We'll go into Cisco U and it, you know all the other things that I just aforementioned. <laughs> uh, but keep in mind what is so unique about Cisco U is that it's AI-driven personalization. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to keep track of what you've taken, what other things you might be interested in, and how close you are to a certification. Right. And the great thing, another great thing about uh, Cisco U is you'll get continuing education credit. That's huge. So you can learn the skills you need as you're planning for that certification versus doing it in two different tracks. So that's awesome. I think the other thing for me too, if I may add more, is um, the community aspect of Cisco U. Uh, so yeah. integrating with our community, being able to see what our VIPs are doing and being able to be in, in that community on a single platform to the different phones. Like I'm on the DevNet community, I get to answer questions, but I see all of that activities happening within part of my learning is I, I think it's a, it's a huge integration. I, I'm so glad you brought that up because <laughs> one thing that we've all experienced is yes, there is a learning curriculum, but really people in this community want the community support right. and you learn a lot through the community aspect. So thank you for bringing that up. Um, I do have I do have one more question. So I know that Cisco U is kind of at the beginning stages of its existence. Um, are we far enough down the path to get some kind of feedback? Are there testimonials and, and interesting stories that we have from learners that have started this journey with Cisco U? There are, and it has been overwhelmingly yeah. positive. Yeah. And Good. a big piece of, of the, um, the equation is because we pulled in the adjacent technology. Mm -hmm. So you're learning that within the learning path and we're aggregating, and we're gonna continue, as I said, to pull in other technologies yeah. as we progress, but this allows learners to come to one place and very efficiently get the information that they need. Look, all the information, there is so much training yeah. out there. It is a tsunami, it's overwhelming. <laughs> it is, it is. And, and in a traditional experience, you go and you learn all those bit parts, and then you figure out how to pull them together. Yeah. And to be fair, some of some of our technologists, that's part of the fun. Yeah. But for others, it's just overwhelming and provides an inconsistent experience. Yeah. And Cisco U is definitely solving for that. Because you got to put the bigger picture towards all of those bits and pieces to Correct. understand where they fit. Correct. Right. And that's really exciting that Cisco U is doing that. So, Paul, if you had to tell our snackers a little bit more information about Cisco U, when is it? Before we wrap up, what would you tell them? I would tell them definitely go and sign up for Cisco EA, Cisco UEA. Uh, get in there, start learning, start experiencing it. We want your feedback because very shortly it will be GA. So this is a terrific opportunity to help shape Cisco U. <laughs> well, Snackers, that's all the time we have today. Par, thank you so much for talking to us about Cisco U, the future of Cisco U, and how exciting it is going to be for learners going forward. My pleasure. Thank you, Thank Park. you so much for having me. Bye, Snackers. <laughs>